What's up guys, this is Benjamin, aka Mickey Mouse, cause I'm having a really bad cold right now, as you can all probably hear. And as promised, this tutorial is going to be on something you might find uh, very interesting. This tutorial is going to be on user inputs. So, um, let's start inputting something. So, uh, yep. Okay, now that we have our um, regular things straight, we can start making something. First of all, we're going to type int h, and it has an undefined value because it first needs a value down here. Now type c out um, hello, or just how old are you? And um, that's not very hard to understand. This is something we learned in the very first tutorial, actually. You know, we'll just print out how old are you. Now type C in two of these greater than signs. Whoops. Whoops. And now type H and a semicolon to break off this line. You know, um, C in, a in, I suppose that's input. And you see these two arrows here, they kind of like point in and they point in at H. So this means that the input that you type will be pointed at this variable right here h so that you know um, this uh, what you type will be stored in this variable and that's actually the same thing with c out you see these two arrows like kind of point out so like it's the program that outputs it to the computer anyway now type if and we learned that in our fifth i suppose Tutorial, we learned uh, what if statement is. Now type if h equals equals 13. Okay, so if the value that you type is exactly equal to 13, it'll say great, I'm 13 years old too now. Now, else if which you also learned in the fifth tutorial. Okay, so um, now Else, if uh, the value you type is bigger than 13, it'll say, haha, you older than me, prune face. Or, if you type something less than 13, it'll say, I'm the face now okay so if you type something less than 13 it'll say oh man I'm the prune face now so um, let's try and compile and run it you do that by hitting this button right here we're going to save this as um, going to save it as input and as you see I already have this overrided yes please and now as we expected, it asks us how old are you. I'm going to start off by typing 13. Now it says great, I'm 13 years too. Now, how old are you? Um, if you take some like a 95 as old Ernie, it'll say, haha, you're older than me, print face. But now, if you type uh, something like my sister's age, she's 10 years old, it'll say, oh man, I'm the print face now. Uh, actually, I'm going to learn you a new data type today too. Um, so first of all, erase these if statements, change the um, data type into C H A R char, which means character, and as you know, like a letter, and like answer. 
and now we're going to make C in point at answer. And now it'll ask, are you wrinkled as a prune? Y for yes and for no. And now you know most of you will probably type in here um, because you know nobody wants to be pruned. So now type if. And by the way, I know that I have a lot of pruned jokes today about wrinkled skin, but that's because I don't really like old people, so I like making fun of the wrinkled skin. Anyway, if answer equals equals two of these signs I actually don't know what they're called in English so it'll just be defined as these in my tutorials so if answer equals y it'll say um, try with some Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. I'm very sorry about the long break, uh, but I had to figure out how to spill moisturizer, so um, I wanted to go to the workbook.com, but then I accidentally uh, hit the wrong key, so uh, my video did not get on pause. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but I'm back now, and I learned a new word today, moisturizer, so um, let's type it in. Try some moisturizer. And then another wink. Now, else if what the pin did have? Okay, so now if you the character you type is Y, it'll say try some moisturizer. If you say N for no, it'll say you like me then. Good for you. Else, uh, if you know, like if you type something else then uh, Y or N, it'll say answer my question, dumbass. So now let's try and compile and run it. First of all, I want to I want to know how it feels like to be a wrinkled prune. So I'm gonna type Y right now, and it'll tell me try some moisturizer. Now, and it'll say, you'll like me then, good for you. But now, I'll try and type something like, really, really stupid, such as a pizza, something my little sister is stupid enough to type, Um, then it'll say, answer my question, dumbass. And dumbass, that's like Rebecca, because she's really dumb. And she's sitting right here next to me, and she's about to make some very loud noises in my video because I keep insulting her, but she know that I'll smash her face if you do it. So she'll shut the fuck up, right? Good. Okay. So um I suppose that's your tutorial on um inputs, but I'm just going to recap one more time. You know first of all we got a character right here called Anza. Ans uh, sorry, let me pronounce this right. Answer so if it first of all it'll print that on the screen are you as wrinkled as prune yes uh y on o n then the uh, the character you type or the word you type will be stored in this variable or will be the value of this variable right here because it you know the c n points in at this variable right here and um yeah i actually don't know how long time i have left of this video so you know what this means. So, um, yep, I'll see you next time. Um, 
no more for me mouse this time um i honestly don't know what our next trail will be on but i promise it will be interesting and hopefully with no very long breaks in it see you Bye.